What are the things that you need to let go? Some things that have cost you pain, that's stifling your growth and development. What are those things? Good early morning. It is about 5.30 in the morning. You can hear the birds chirping. Uh, today's gonna be a long, long day. Business in the morning, travels at night. Let's just get started. six hours until my flight. It's a beautiful day though. I have a flight to Chicago at 10. I haven't even packed yet. Whatever. take a nap um, so I only had like three hours of sleep have to leave out of here by 730 it's 530 right now so two hours to pack and get ready so here we go it's time to go I got here, we got here faster than we thought. Yeah. Because I was expecting to be like, Slow. come in and then board right away. Next stop, Chicago. Chicago. Don't ever fly spirit. Right? <laughs> Back. It's gonna take us about 40 minutes to get to by train, by train. We gotta be efficient and convenient. Cost efficient. So we're gonna take the blue line to the city and yeah. Clark and Lake. That's where we're going. So I came up with five ways, five different things to review, to give a hotel five-star review. And what are the qualifications and breakdowns? So number one. So number one, impression. The impression of a hotel is very important. When you walk in, you want to be wild. You want to feel 
not only welcome, but you want to feel like, wow, this is a nice place, you know, the, it's, it's clean. Uh, as soon as coming in, you walk in and you get greeted with a smile. You know, the hotel appearance, um, when you walk in, you know, they give you that nice smile, the customer service. That I'll talk more into in another section, uh, but definitely being greeted, feeling welcome as soon as you walk in. Wow, that's a nice little gym. You yeah, work it, girl. Work them. <laughs> work them glutes. <laughs> Oh yeah, the squat, the Asian squat. What is it called? <laughs> what is the balloon? <laughs> so that brings us up to the second criteria in a five-star review: is the amenities and the utilities. So the amenities, fitness center. How good the fitness center is? Does things work? Is it clean? The Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi goodness. The speed of the Wi-Fi. Uh, the elevators. Are well, the elevators do they work? take long to come. Uh, uh, you also want to rate the breakfast. The breakfast, if it's included. If it includes breakfast, then rate the breakfast. If it doesn't, then what are you going to do? If it includes a pool, like this over here. Nice pool. It's closed at the moment. But if it's clean, you know, you're going to rate the pool. The fitness center. How's the fitness center? Does it work? Let's, t let's test it out. Let's see. <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. It's working. All right. That's a plus. Oh, all right. So, yeah, that's amenities, utilities. If it's good, if it works, definitely rate it on that. Um, if everything's clean, uh, the efficiency of it, like I said, the Wi Fi elevators, food, breakfast, and all that good stuff. So number three, room experience. Pretty much that's comfort, cleanliness of room, TV works, bathrooms, simple stuff. You know, if you walk into a room, the room's dirty. That's not the point. When they come into a clean room, everything works, lights, TV, the room, the bed is comfortable, A plus. So with point three, we're gonna go show you our room. We're gonna show you how clean it is. It is a clean room when you see this. Key works, that's a plus. You too, welcome to my crib. <laughs> right here, you got a nice little bathroom. Look, everything's clean. Nice little new tiles, they look pretty new. And the floor's a little rusty, but I'll take it. It's a nice little vintage look to it. Clean towels, always a plus. Hair dryer, you know, ladies always need the hair dryers. Bang! All the way, but it doesn't <laughs> pop out. But it still works. It's a nice little light, and then this one's not working, but that's fine. We'll take it. For the ladies to do makeup. Yeah, ladies. Oh, <laughs> nice here. You have like a little walk-in closet. <laughs> nice little walk-in closet in there with a nice ironing board. It comes with a nice H&M jean jacket. I'm just playing. That's for awesome. us. Uh, a safe. Always good to have a safe. Uh, make sure it works. Um, don't think I'm going to use it, but it's good to have. And then right here is the bedroom. Uh, so we have the king bed, we have the lights, you see all the lights are on, working, TV, let's see if the TV works. Alright, looking good. Put this on mute. Alright, nice little chair. Oh, we have a fridge. It's a pretty big fridge for a hotel room. Nothing inside, that's fine. We don't want to get charged for stealing beverages. And then nice little chair with a nice little table. Have your meetings, conference calls. And then here, this is what I like. I don't think this opens, but it's the view. Nice little view of Chicago, Lake Michigan right in the bottom. So overall, nice little room. Number four, customer service. This is the one and most important things when coming to either, whether it's a hotel, an airplane, restaurant, retail, the most important thing in my eyes is customer service. You can have one of the most, you know, smallest hotels, one of the most like 
with no amenities, no pools, no whatever. But if you have great customer service, people are going to come back. And I know this from experience. Uh, so customer service is, you know, not only just being nice, but you know, being uh, being nice is one, you know, friendly, genuine care. Uh, but most importantly, is problem solving. So customer service is a key, a key, whether it's hotel, whatever. So the last one is overall experience. Uh, pretty much, this is everything from one through four, the total, your likeliness to return, uh, the likeliness you'll re recommend it to a guest, to I mean, uh, your friend, your family, whoever, uh, pretty much just how you enjoyed your stay overall. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, I have an idea. Right now, I'm gonna start it at five stars, right? We didn't get the room we got, so right now it's at four. four. Uh, but if they fix it, we'll bring it up. So I'm gonna, in the bottom, I'm gonna put how many stars. As it goes. As we as go. So throughout the three nights, put how many stars in. And at the end, I'm gonna write a review on TripAdvisor. And you guys can see it. Cool? Cool. All right. But yeah, that's it for tonight. We're in Chicago. Spent three nights here. For three nights, right? Here for three nights? Yeah. I, know, I can't keep track of where we are. For the first night, uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. tomorrow. We have a long day. And an early day, because we got to wake up in like seven hours. No, that's good. That's a good amount. Of, not even six hours. I'll take six hours of sleep. I haven't gotten six hours of sleep in God knows how long. But see you tomorrow. Peace! Peace! <laughs> Attractive.